Today's topic is five more reasons why officers get in trouble in no particular order. I'll cover some more of the more common reasons ASCAP ends up representing our members. I'm Steve Serbalik, and I'm a panel attorney with ASCAPs in Arizona. As always, this is a topic summary and not legal advice. And if you haven't seen my other video addressing this topic, check out the link above. First, unauthorized access to police databases, also known as running yourself, a family member, a significant other, or a friend. We covered running yourself in another video, linked above. But to recap, as Jimmy said, don't do it. Same goes for running friends or family. It's actually a felony to access law enforcement databases for non-law enforcement purposes, yet we see this regularly. Next is converting law enforcement contacts into social, mainly sexual relationships. Many police officers have suspects, witnesses, or even victims offer sexual favors to police officers. Don't do it. Most agencies have policies that prohibit converting law enforcement contacts into social relationships, and it's illegal to engage in any sexual contact with a prisoner. Next are EEO or Equal Opportunity Office violations. This is another term for discrimination or making discriminatory comments. Don't do it. Jokes made about protected classes, which include, but are not limited to, race, ethnicity, gender, medical conditions, and others, are a common way that officers get in trouble. Next is gossip. Many agencies have specific policies regarding starting rumors that could impact morale, and even if a specific policy doesn't exist, depending on the nature of the gossip, this type of conduct could be classified as unprofessional conduct. So be careful about spreading rumors. Note that gossip is not whistleblowing. Whistleblowing should be handled by following appropriate reporting procedures, not by simply spreading around something that you heard to your coworkers. Finally, for this video, there's inappropriate use of governmental equipment. Don't use your work phone or computer to conduct personal business or to send inappropriate comments or materials. As I covered in prior videos, Arizona has pretty liberal public records laws. So if your conduct on work equipment wouldn't look good if disclosed as part of a public records request, don't use the work computer or phone to do it. So there you have it. Five more of the most common, entirely avoidable reasons for discipline. Inappropriate access to police databases, converting law enforcement contacts to social relationships, equal opportunity type discrimination issues, gossiping, and unauthorized use of governmental equipment. Keep these in mind, but if you do face significant discipline based upon these issues, don't go at it alone. Lawyers like me and organizations like ASCOPS are here to help, so feel free to ask. If you have questions about these issues, or if you can think of other common and avoidable reasons for police discipline, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more law enforcement lessons. Videos are published every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Arizona time. Thanks for watching. I'm Steve Serbalik. Stay safe out there.